going to talk to you today. Just a little quick summary of the Hitman mod on the Zodin KP3. Um, they don't come with these stock, at least they didn't when I bought this one. Um, normally, what you'd see when you bought this gun is um, just this back plate here that the pump arms connect to on both sides. Uh, it's flat on the bottom. So they now offer this nice two finger Hitman. Um, it's uh, really ergonomic, it's very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't really get in the way if you want to, you know, go full hands on the, uh, the pump handle, but it is also very uh, convenient, very comfortable, very light on the, um, you know, if you want to go the two fingers. It's actually a big improvement over what they did on the prior KPs. Um, and while it doesn't come stock, it's well worth the, uh, you know, the 20 bucks or whatever it is that I caught that it uh, that it costs. I think I picked mine up off Amazon for around 20 bucks. Um, real nice matching anodizing. I know they also come in a few other colors. Um, I definitely saw black. Uh, so very nice there. To compare, we got a KP. Uh, I think this was a second gen um, KP. And while I prefer on these to go. You know, full hands. I do keep the Hitman on just for when I feel like changing it up a little bit. These were just a, you know, like a small stain. I think initially they were aluminum, and then they changed them to stainless. But uh, you just got a little tiny stainless rod there. It's it's not terribly comfortable. It serves its purpose, but it's yeah, it's real generic. Um, big improvement with this, and just an overall great upgrade. So if you have a KP3. Even if you don't typically use an auto, a, um, a Hitman, or if it's not you know necessarily your style, I, I'd almost recommend picking one up just for some versatility because it it really doesn't get in the way at all, and it's um, just a nice option. So there you have it. It's from Zodin, matching Anna. Um, go pick one up. Thanks.